What's shaking and bacon? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Bite for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Now, if you guessed I was in Hawaii last week, you were correct. But other people swore it was Haiti or Hitachi, the company in Japan, or even Hungary with an I. Now, let's get to the show. And for all of you waiting for AirPods to come out, we might actually see them before the end of the year after an email by a Mac Rumors reader asked Tim Cook about them. Now, Cook responded with, Sorry for the delay, we are finalizing them and I anticipate we will begin to ship over the next few weeks. Now the email has been confirmed to originate from Apple's corporate servers. These emails can potentially be faked, but Apple did not respond to any of our follow-ups. Now, will they make it in time for the holiday season? Come on Apple, AirPods 2016. Let's make iPhones great again. There's also lots of iPhone 8 stories flying around this week. A Wall Street Journal report jumps on board with other rumors that a curved OLED display iPhone could come as soon as next year. And let's be honest, it needs to be something special for its 10th anniversary phone to bring back excitement to a brand that's honestly lost some of its mojo. Now the report says the OLED model would come with a higher price tag because they're more expensive to produce. But Apple might not even decide to release the model because it's one of more than 10 prototypes being considered. So then I saw all these clickbait headlines claiming the iPhone 8 has 10 prototypes. See, the casual audience, aka Facebook, they just didn't know what to do with themselves when they heard that. But in other related news, Apple is working on next year's iPhone like they do every year. All right, Apple has also asked suppliers to increase their output of the OLED displays in anticipation for next year's model. Samsung will most likely be the primary OLED supplier in 2017. Other manufacturers just aren't able to provide the amount of inventory needed, but the hope is Sharp, LG Display, and Japan Display will be able to help out in 2018. As it stands now, rumor reports still believe there will be three new iPhones next year, two LCD-based iPhones with the current 4.7 and 5.5-inch screen sizes, and a flagship OLED display model with a screen size somewhere between 5.1 and 5.2 inches, and a flagship OLED display model with a screen size somewhere between 5.1 and 5.2 inches, with all three models rumored to add wireless charging and a rear glass backing. Okay, a recent Apple patent granted to them reveals the company has been actively looking at a iPhone with a full screen foldable display. The design would require a flexible metal support structure on the back of an OLED display that could be folded in half to fit in your pocket. It's kind of a throwback to clamshell cell phones from the 90s, shout out to the Motorola Razor, or what NFL quarterback Andrew Luck would call his current cell phone. See, that picture was taken in August of 2016. Come on, Andrew, that's a bad apple. <laughs> or we could have called that bad luck. Okay, examples of the patent even show the phone design folded to protect the screen or flipped around and folded the opposite way to expose the screen completely. The patent was first filed for in July of 2014. I don't expect to see this design yet, but there really is some old school charm to it. And if you're thirsty for more iPad news, a new report from Mako Takara says the new rumored 10.9 inch iPad will have the same footprint as the current 9.7 inch iPad with smaller bezels. The report also suggests Apple will replace the physical home button and embed it directly onto the screen. And the new iPad might be the first product we see this rumor tech even before the iPhone 8. It also says the new 10.9 inch model's thickness will increase to 7.5 millimeters and the larger 12.9 inch iPad Pro will see an increase of three millimeters. Then the standard 9.7 inch iPad will still remain to serve education and enterprise markets. OLED displays are still not expected for the iPad lineup in 2017 and won't make it in there until 2018, but we're expecting this new lineup in the first half of next year. And remember we told you last week that Apple was discontinuing its line of airport wireless routers? That's not expected to change, but you know, sometimes timing can be cruel. Apple beat out all other vendors. You can see the breakdown here. And it was the only company to receive a five-star power circle consumer rating, which places it amongst the best. Timing sucks, and you know what? That's just a sad apple. <laughs> and in arguably the best news this week, Netflix will now allow you to download shows and movies from the service to view offline for no additional cost. So update the iOS and Android app, and you can click on the download icon that allows you to watch it without an internet connection. 
This doesn't apply to everything on Netflix right now. Really, it's most Netflix shows that are available, but plans are to continue to roll it out and it makes the service even better. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can email us at theapplebyte at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.